Hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday. Uh, it is almost noon and I'm getting ready to take Mal to the airport. Mal is going to be flying back to Wisconsin for a few days. Uh, unfortunately, her uncle passed. Um, and she's going to be going back home to spend time with the family and be there for the funeral. So obviously I'll miss her, but I'm, you know, glad that she's going to get a chance to be up there with everybody. And um, you'll be back on Saturday. Yep. So you have a few days. Um, I was fortunate enough to meet... Uh, I've, I've met a lot of... I've met almost all of your family at this almost point. Everyone. I think I'm missing, like, a cousin. On this side. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I had had the pleasure of meeting this particular uncle many times and um yeah he will be very missed he was uh he w he had a very unique sense of humor that made him very much like the the life of the party every single time he's a huge jokester very very funny person and um yeah it it was uh it was certainly unexpected, so. Yeah. 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 I actually, um, I don't know if you remember this, but um, the very first time I came to visit you, mm -hmm. uh, I had only, I had only just met your dad. Yep. I had gotten under the car with your dad, and uh, we went and played disc golf. Yeah. And I played disc golf with you and your dad and this uncle. Mm-hmm. And um, it was it was a unique experience because I hadn't gotten I hadn't gotten quite used to the the humor of the family, and um, it was a trial by fire with him. It, it like was it, yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, like your 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 dad too, but like your dad's your dad's humor is here, which is a like this is like a normal level, and your uncle's was here, and. Uh, I, I was, it was very trial by fire because I had just gotten like to Wisconsin and was just spending time with you and your family. And all of a sudden it was like, oh. It was kind of like a joke among like the cousins, like, oh, you know, bring them to the family thing and have them meet this uncle. Just, yeah, that's the test. Yeah. So, well, hopefully I, I passed. <laughs> You're still around. I'm still around. Yeah. He was, he was a seriously, seriously great guy. So I'm, I'm, I'm very upset <laughs> at his passing, but Mao is going to be going up to, uh, to Wisconsin for a few days. And while you're up there, I'll be holding down the fort. I got to take care of Kep. One of the reasons I'm staying here, not only because he needs medicine and stuff, but he actually has a vet appointment tomorrow. Um, cause we have a question about something that's going on with him. So. I gotta take care of that. Anyway, um, we should get you to the airport. Yeah. Okay. I love you. Love you too. And I'll see you in a few days. There we go. Where's my, this thing. So um, it's a little bit later. You could probably tell because it's obviously later. Um, I took Mal to the airport. Um, and I, uh, did Starfield, because I'm still working through Starfield, and now I'm having a piece of fudge. But soon, sorry, it's fudge. Mm, it's so good. Mmm, that's really good. Oh, wow, that's so good. Mmm. Wow. Anyway, all right. Uh, soon, I'm going to get a shower, get get uh, dressed, and go over to Alex and Haley's, because I'm having uh, dinner with them tonight. Just going to hang out, chill. We made plans to, to do this uh, even before Mal left, so... That's the plan. I'm going to have another piece of fudge. 
So Haley, what is in this? Cheese, tomato, and your basil? Yeah, cheese, tomato, onion, last of my frozen basil, and food. And the really big pasta, they had big novelty pasta at the holidays. And I was like, I like these big novelty pasta. So I bought a couple bags and then I was like, this is the best use of this large novelty pasta. I do think it's probably the biggest pasta I've ever seen, to be honest. I literally feel like I'm eating a shrimp. Yes, it does look like a shrimp. It's a holiday specialty item, the Feast of St. Semolina. <laughs> it's, it's very good. It has a little heat to it, which I wasn't expecting. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, I put a little bit of red pepper flakes in there. Hope it wasn't too much. <laughs> I'm good. Chaz, however. Wait, is Chaz bad? Oh. So Mal made white chicken chili the other night, and we all sat there and ate it. And Chaz had a paper towel and just dabbed his forehead the entire time. <laughs> did he say, Lord have mercy, every time he did it? No, but I hope he starts. <laughs> I can't. This is the Westerners. He'll probably get better about it now that he lives here. But I mean, that's the thing. I got better with it. My story is that I didn't want to be the Midwesterner who can't handle spicy things. Yeah. So in college, I just doused all of my food in hot sauce because it wasn't great anyway. <laughs> Jeff is fine. Jeff seems to handle heat all right. Um, I feel bad to just call out Jess and Jeff. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it does sound a little judgy. I, it's not Jeff well. Jeff is it's... fine, but this Jeff. <laughs> It's just, you know, it's a yeah. palate thing. Like, yeah. if you don't grow up eating spicy foods, yeah. it's going to be harder to eat yeah. spicy foods. not foods. like a manlier man for eating spicy no, food. Not, no, no, not at all. It's just more adapted to... No. Yeah. We, we, also had, we also had friends from India. Yeah. And so I'd go over to their house, and I was like, this is the spiciest thing ever. And I was a kid, and I remember them laughing at me because it only had black pepper in it. <laughs> and then I was like, ah, this is where these stereotypes come from. So, but I... I'm still not great, but I'm better than I was. I can do hot sauce and stuff. There's been a few times since we lived here that we went and got Indian food where it like genuinely surprised me. A lot of the times it's fine, and then every once in a while I'll have a dish, and they, they don't ask me like how hot I want it, but I, I, I take a bite and I'm like, oh, that's a lot. What you doing, bud? What you doing over there? He doesn't know it, but he's got gabapentin in his system because uh, for his last meal of the day, I gave him some wet food and I mixed uh, 50 milligrams of gabapentin into it. So he's going to be a little, a little drowsy tonight, but that's good. Uh, I, I think I talked about it already, but um, he's going to the vet tomorrow. Just got a few things we need to talk about. Um, Nothing that's like terribly alarming. Like he has been okay. It's just his stomach's been making some noises and I, I want to figure that out. So um, I'm going to go, I'm going to take him to the vet tomorrow. And it's just me taking him to the vet, uh, which is a little harder than if I had Mal here with me, but I'm, I'm capable. And um, after breakfast stream in the morning, I'll give him a little more gabapentin. So by the time I take him to the vet, he'll be... He'll be, he'll be pretty out of it. Um, speaking of Mao, she arrived safely, so everything's going good. Um, she is staying with uh, Carly and Kyle, so it's, you know, again, the, the situation is not a good one. Uh, the, the circumstances are not good, but at least she's getting a chance to spend time with family, and that's a positive in all of this. As for me... I'm going to go to bed. Um, tomorrow's going to be a relatively big day. Anytime vet, any, anytime Kep has to go to the vet, it's a big day because like the vet happens, but then I kind of like chill at home and I, you know, I'm, I got to make sure that he's okay and like he's doing all right. So, right? Right? All right. Thanks for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?